Aquarius Sun, Moon in Cancer, and then Taurus Rising. All right, so you actually have the moon in its like native sign. So like whenever you have the moon in its own sign or any planet in their own sign, it's going to actually perform very well just for the simple fact that it's, it's comfortable with that energy just because that's the same energy that makes up the whole entire zodiac sign. So like whenever you have the sun in Cancer, this is a person that is like much more obvious at the fact that they are paying attention to their surroundings more so than much so than um a moon in cancer so like you got to go watch all my previous videos on cancer like to understand this energy even deeper because i already don't spoke on it a lot but like i said never in the moon sign but cancer has like a strong ass radar just for the simple fact that it's a water sign water signs are the most connected to the spiritual realm out of all the four elements that we have water fire earth and air fire and water they're polar opposites to each other so they have a lot of similarities with their connection to the spiritual realm but the moon is like it's a discrete as planet and the moon comes out when the sky is super black so you gotta think about it it has this shade it has this covering it has this veil that it hides itself with and that's the shell of the crab because you got to understand that cancer is represented by the mascot the crab and the crab has that hard outer shell water signs they kind of lack boundaries in a way so that's why it makes up for the boundaries with its shell because it has to protect its energy you got to understand that water water can absorb other energies very easily so it's like with water signs we can fit anything that you put us into so like with a water sign it can fit any cup it can fit any crack like water is completely adaptable water has so many different shapes that it can form and adjust itself too so with that being said that means you have a lot of different mental frames that you can adjust yourself to you can always understand people just for the simple fact that you you've you've been you've literally been every form and water takes on any shape and form that's why it's most connected to the spiritual realm and with water signs we have a very deep intuition your intuition is your ability to perceive things like like with your sixth sense or what they call ESP, extra sensory perception. So that's your that's pretty much like your ability to perceive or to acknowledge um, the electromagnetic field or the electromagnetic spectrum in which we all have. So because cancer likes to be low key, it doesn't really like the sun because the sun is not a low key planet. It, everything on the sun gets put on display so the moon i mean so cancer actually performs much better in the moon just for the simple fact that the moon is already low key water sounds like to be low key because it's a dark energy you got to understand that water puts out light so therefore it's already darkness but like i was saying with the boundaries thing so we really have to keep a lot of boundaries with people because like with water water can get tainted like it could it could absorb other colors and energies